I think this one is quite difficult because you could say there's some kind of misdirection going on. The shape of the figures lead us to, to consider some kind of rotational movement and rotational positioning. But this turns out to, to not matter at all. So rather we can we can observe that these small circles they are either on the inside or on the outside of the big circle. So let's let's note up here to the left we have inside. Then we have inside, this one is inside, and then we have two inside over here. In the next row we have inside, then we have three outside. So let, let's make another color for the outside ones. And then we end up with two outside. While in the last row we have two inside, we have two outside, and the question is what's going to happen here? Now there are different ways to express the following idea, but in an abstract sense you could say that the the blue and the red red ones they cancel out each other when we go from left to right or from top to bottom. So we make a count from left to right, we make a count of of the lines, there is a red one, there's a red one, so all in all there are two red ones. Here we have a red one, then we have a blue one that cancels out the red one, so we have two blue ones left. Those are the two blue ones. We have two red ones, two blue ones, so if they cancel out each other, we're going to be left with nothing over here. We can check out this rule from top to bottom, red one, red one, leaves us with two red ones. Red one, three blue ones, this one cancels out this one, so we have two blue ones left. And from here and here we have two blue, two blue and two red who cancel out each other, so that leaves us with nothing. So the rule checks out from top to bottom and from left to right. Another way to express this is that, let's say, blue is plus and red is minus. So these are negative numbers and the blue ones are positive numbers or vice versa. So the correct answer anyway is G.